our roofing finally here. <laughs> finally. And we also found somebody that can install it, so we're on the move. Yeah. Oh. Ayo, ayo purgi tog smile, ika box for na na, box. Box for? Box for na tano. Oh, this is it, Japan. Satu pa na hog na siya og kwan ka box. Um 140. Yam ramen lagi ni sa, wan ni pani so ko ana ka box doon mag siyam siguro siyam na ka box og sag decide ang sud sa box they're they're carrying the soffit so Unsa man na box 5 na na? Kalima. Box 6. Ikapila naman na na box 7. Bumo, can you do it for me? You just have to check the boxes here. 16, well, 16. You're, you're doing that side. I think you need to keep doing this thing. Sorry. Well, you can do this if you can't do that. What do you want to do over there? Yes, to show them okay. where to put it and all those okay. things. <laughs> So this is uh, this is the vinyl soffit for the main house. We'll use a different soffit on the garage just because it's a garage. <clears throat> this vinyl soffit over here is very expensive, much more in the, than in the U.S. You don't just find it at a Home Depot over here. It's uh, it's not a very common. We had to get this from Cebu, mm -hmm. from a certain supplier. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but over here they have a problem with the birds. The birds flock and make holes up in the soffit and make nests up in the uh, in the soffit area. <clears throat> so hopefully this will this will not make that happen. <laughs> we finally have our roof. So, so next they'll they'll start to make the beams. <clears throat> they make them themselves, the trusses and the beams. And uh, we'll finally have a roof. And we just need to be able to to get the island of the hall opened up so we can get the measure to come and uh, and measure the Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the here's the roof tiles. So there we go. Okay. Enough. Oh, this is how many minutes? It's what? One minute. One minute. One minute. So here are the roof tiles there. Yeah, show them the roof tiles. <laughs> These are multi-layered steel coated tiles that are special production processes. So they have a 50 year 50 year warranty, uh, 25 years unlimited and uh, 25 years additional 25 years prorated. <coughs> so <coughs> This too came from Cebu. We were able to negotiate all this uh, before the 
the virus hit. <clears throat> so we had we were fortunate enough to find a, a local installer <clears throat> to be able to install the roof. So this is the well, and uh, you can see down in there that uh, it's gonna, you know, it's solid concrete walls. These walls are, oh, there's a mango just fell off the tree almost on my head. But uh, you can see the thickness of, of this. So the water will come from down the valley, down the uh, cliff over there on the beach, at the beach where our well is, up through the, the uh, driveway and to here. And here we'll have a pump system that'll take it on to the, to the main house. So we, uh, we have good spring water, and uh, uh, that's a big thing to watch for around here. If you're looking for a lot, be careful, because um, there are some places in other towns that, that have no water, <laughs> and they have to line up uh, with the tanks in the back of their, their vehicle to, to get water. <laughs> Yeah, it <laughs> fell off the tree. Boom. <laughs> Everything's a joke with these guys. They're great. They've got such a sense of humor. They work so hard. The other thing to to watch for in the Philippines is the um rights of way our uh, our rights of way our right of way comes up from the main road uh, up through this through this little road here and then it shoots off to these various lots and uh, the seller didn't want to cooperate with the survey but we insisted on it and long story short he saw in the end that, that we were correct um, but you know it, they if someone decided to not let you have access, they'd just not let you have access anymore, and you, you're really in a bind. So, I, and I've seen it happen to people over here, so you need to really be careful with that. If you're looking at a lot, um, you, you know, get the rights of way checked out by an attorney. And get the survey done, too, by a you know, licensed surveyor with the attorney uh, assisting and... Uh, Get it all legal, just like you would in the U.S. Oh, it's a nice morning. The ocean's calm this morning. <laughs> well, long as we're on, let me show you around a little bit more of the house so the water line will will be half inch um, all the way to the house excuse me that'll be one inch from there it'll be half inch from the well for the the ground well to this the storage well and then it'll be one inch from there to here so make sure to have your plumber do that correctly because we we went through a lot. The existing line from the from the well, the, the deep well, is now a quarter inch, and it created a lot of problems with back pressure and and water flow and so on. So, you know, I, if you could do that, get get it addressed up front. Over here, they use a, a different process of of. Uh, the concrete. I, I may have mentioned before, but you can see here that they're they're putting the the stucco on, and this is well, it looks like it's about three eighths to a half inch thick. This one, so they'll and they use these lines, these monofilament lines, as their as their guide to to being uh, level and straight. It's, it's a really interesting process. You can see where it's nailed in down here and goes up there. So, and they use a plumb bob to, to get the squareness uh, set up. And then they use a skim coat and they do multiple layers. Like you see the white here. 
I'll show you. We found this to be a good product. A skim coat here. It's called Island Premium. That's it right there. These are the new additions. These are the, the watchdogs here. <laughs> so you can see that they've done uh, s several several layers in here. It's getting pretty. And then they'll put a they'll put a primer on it after that. And then uh, they have to wait, I think, two weeks for the skim coat to dry, and then the primer goes on. And then they have to wait a certain period of time for that too. But you know, you can see the finished product here, and it turns out pretty pretty straight and uh, and on. So, so I'd say, besides the uh, besides the fence, you know, kind of going on its way, that's about uh, the update from now. <laughs> There's cocoa, the coconut tree. It got blown down in a uh, in a hurricane and and then uh, grew back up. And we uh, aptly named it Coco and didn't want to make the house any wider to save to save it and we would have had to do you know uh, some some alterations for this one too so we just made it as wide as we could without destroying more coconut trees we wanted to keep all that we could we still have about 30 so it's good but we'll uh we'll plant some more so we're out for now see you next time